Hey everyone, welcome to The Farm and Pastor's Wife. I'm so glad you're here. My name's Leslie and welcome to my kitchen. Today, it's been a work day on the farm and now everybody's working inside. Bryant's got some church stuff to do, Isaac's working on some stuff, and I'm hungry. So therefore, I'm gonna work in the kitchen. So today we're making quick, easy, I mean, no mess, quick, easy chicken nuggets. Hey darling, can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. Hey darling, we could get out of town. See the beautiful world around, wanna see it now. And get in that car Leave a little note and we'll drive real far Let's get out, we can leave this city Let's drive to the open air Yeah, the countryside is Okay, so the great thing about these chicken nuggets Is there's really only three ingredients plus any seasoning you want. So don't take me literally when I say three seasoning because if you want to add seasoning, you can add seasoning. And I will be adding some Hidden Valley Ranch spicy um, seasoning. I haven't really tried this one a lot, so I kind of want to try it today. You're going to need, we're using canned chicken. This is the ingredients is so clean. You know, people fuss about eating canned food, but let me tell you this, the only thing in here is chicken, water, and salt. That's it. And um, you're gonna need a cheese of choice. If you have a block, you can by all means shred it yourself, but I'm wanting quick, easy for lunch today. So we're gonna use, I'm gonna use this uh, Colby Jack, I guess. I thought I got Fiesta Blend. Obviously I got Colby Jack. So that's what we're using and an egg. So I'm gonna drain my chicken. This is a 12.5 ounce can of chicken. And did I forget to tell you, if by chance you're doing a low carb life or look, trying to watch your carbs, this recipe's for you. It is pretty much like whatever little, little bit of carbs that we use in the cheese, that's it. So let's get started. Okay, everyone, so I have my chicken. Let me get you turned down here. I've been work. I've got on work clothes. Forgive me. Anyway, um, I have my chicken here, and I'm just going to break it apart. I've drained it really well. And I just want to break this chicken apart as finely as I can get it. Checking to see, here's a big clump, so I want to get that clump taken care of. All right, and to this chicken, I'm going to add my cup and a half of cheese. And I'm going to mix this up really, really, really well. Now is the good time to add in a few shakes of my sprinkling. Since I'm not sure about this, I mean seasoning. Since I'm not real sure about it, I'm not going to put a whole lot. There we go. All right, we're just going to mix that up together. All right. And over here, I have my egg. Just going to whisk it up really good. And we're going to add this to this. Now I got this recipe from um, a, actually a keto channel that I watch and um, they look delicious so I'm super easy to, tr easy, I'm, su <laughs> I'm super excited to try this. Alright guys, I'm going to get this. I'm going to take just a minute and patty them out into small nugget size shapes and um, and then I'll bring you back and tell you, I probably can't show you just the way my kitchen is set up, 
but I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'll bring you right back soon as I get them all patted out. Okay, I've got about half of them patted out because that's about all that'll fit in the air fryer. Did I mention we're using the air fryer? This is super easy. So I've got me some parchment here and I have um, sprayed it with some olive oil. And let me just say, if you try to put these together, they don't hold very well, but once they start cooking, they will. You kind of have to force them to stay together. So that's why I'm only going to do half of them at a time. All right, we're going in the air fryer. I think I'm going to put it on about 370. And I'm going to go ahead and put it on for the 15 minutes, and it, but check them halfway through. Okay, guys, I'll be right back. Okay, everybody, look who I have as my taste tester because he and I are the ones watching our carbs right now. But feast your eyes on these. Now, listen, this is not my original recipe. I got this from Christy Davis. I will link her video down below for this. You might want to follow her. Um, I think one thing I would do differently is use more fine, the finer shredded cheese. Um, but I can't wait to taste. And we're going to use... They or smell I'm so gonna, good. They, do, they, they, they smell, smell so, good. so good. Like, like they smell better than normal chicken nuggets. Um, uh, for dipping sauce, we're going to use the G. Hughes Polynesian. Or I am. I'm not sure what you're going to use. I'll try it naked first. He's going to try it naked first. All right. Well, let me try it plain, too. That one's hot. Okay. Let's go. I'm good. That's a keeper. That's good. That is really good. All right, now let me try it with the. Mm. I've mm. never had this sauce before. It's good. Oh wow. <laughs> oh wow. Y'all, if anybody tells you that eating healthy doesn't taste good. They just haven't found the right recipe. They're doing it wrong. They're doing it wrong. And I used to be that person. I used to be that person. But I love finding new recipes like this. So easy. Three ingredients. And then whatever seasoning you want to add. Oh my. I need to keep this the mix made so I just throw them in the air fryer whenever <laughs> I'm hungry. And they were in the air fryer. How easy is that? Oh my. Here, so I wonder what they'd be like with ranch. We're gonna find out. Mmm. Y'all. I don't care if even if you're not dieting, you need to try this recipe. And I read you the ingredients on the canned chicken, but if for some reason you're still having an aversion to canned chicken, then boil your own. Boil your own chicken and then just take a hand mixer and shred it up. Alright, let's see. Oh. Is that good too? That's even more chicken nugget like. That's good. Alright. I gotta try it. I don't usually use that much ranch. <laughs> yep. I'm about to clean this plate. <laughs> Hold on, let me swallow. Okay, y'all. He said he's fixing to clean this plate. I don't think so. I gotta save Daddy one, and then I gotta eat some too. Okay. Right. <laughs> that leaves me one, two, three, four. <laughs> it means I get one more. Um, okay, guys. Listen, you guys asked for healthier recipes, or a few of you did. Not everybody, but some of you have. So I told you here and now, occasionally, I'll throw in a healthy recipe. And I'm telling you, even if you're not watching your weight, even if you could care less about low carb, if you could care less about it, y'all, mm -hmm. you won't be sorry. It is that good. So thank you, Christy Davis, for this wonderful recipe. It is amazing. 
And I can't quit eating them either. Anyway, y'all check out her channel. I'll link her video to these chicken nuggets down below. Um, I may be trying a lot of her recipes <laughs> because this one has been such a hit. And so, okay, now let me just tell you. Oh, be sure to tune in to, like, we just did the weekend vlog. I may be moving that to Sundays instead of Saturdays. It just works easier for me to do it on Sunday. So I have a feeling I'll be moving the weekend vlog to Sunday. So this coming Sunday, <laughs> he's reaching around. <laughs> This coming Sunday, be sure to tune in because I will give you the two-week update on how I've done since I've changed things up a little bit. Um, there's really no rhyme or reason to how I've changed things up. Um, I'm just doing low, lower carbs. Somebody asked me how many carbs were in our fuelings, and I think it's somewhere... I mean, it could be nine, some of them are 10, some of them are 12. I, there's different amounts of carbs. And um, because when I'm watching net carbs, not total carbs, I'm watching net carbs, which means if there's any dietary fiber, I minus that out. And if there's any sugar alcohols, I minus that out. And then I'm left with whatever carbs I have. Um, so, um, very much like keto. I am, I am on the verge of keto. Like, I'm there. <laughs> so, um, I'm just not doing the high fat portion. I mean, I'm not, like, decreasing the fat, but I'm not doing, like, the fat bombs and stuff like that. Um, so, like, I'm, I'm using full, full fat ranch and, you know, so, so I'm, and I'm eating avocados and stuff like that. So, anyway, y'all, I don't care if you're, you I don't care. Y'all need to do this recipe. It is so good. Oh my goodness. And I now I just don't know which dipping sauce to use. The Polynesian or the ranch. Maybe I'll alternate. Alright guys. We'll see you back next time. Thank you so much for watching The Farm and Pastor's Wife. This was so fun. And it was so delicious. And I hope you guys try it. Um, it's wonderful. Absolutely wonderful and I mean that from the Leslie who likes to cook fattening food and I mean that from the Leslie who likes to cook healthy food either way it is good and you need to make it so like this thank you guys for watching the farm and pastor's wife and remember the grease is hot enough you can fry anything bye y'all